I'm going to show you today three new ways of using your Distress Spray Stains. These are your Distress Ink Sprays. They are different to your Oxide Sprays and I'm also going to be telling you the difference between the two, what you can and can't use each one for. Now I'm sure you've not seen these techniques before. Do give me a subscribe if you haven't done already. Thumbs up to this video and let's get on with it. Now probably the simplest technique is one that I doubt you've used before, but it's actually ink blending with your sprays. This is really easily done. You don't use a lot of ink at all, and it's much less scary than actually spraying directly onto your cardstock. So all I'm using is a foam dauber. You can't do this with the brush. You do need to use the foams. I'm just picking a little bit up off of the resistant mat there and swiping that onto my cardstock. This is just your generic stamping cardstock. It's nothing special, it's not coated, and I can easily do my blends as well. Just watch this as I go over into there, and then pick up a little bit more with this one, and go into there. Look, that's absolutely perfect blend. How stunning. Now, because I've not mixed any water with this, once that dries, I can also then take my water spray and I can flick my clean water onto there to get all those lovely Distress ink effects that you love with your Distress range. Look at that, you can see it coming through already. Isn't that just gorgeous? Now the next technique is with your gel plate or your jelly plate. So this one absolutely blew me away because I always thought, do you know what? Distress spray stains are an ink. They're kind of, they're really watery. They don't absorb into non-porous materials, of course. They're just going to pool and they're not going to pick up really well. But I found a really quick and easy way of fixing that and that's just by applying a little bit of gesso to my uh, gel plate before I spray on there. So I'm just going to blend this in a little bit. I'm going to wipe off the excess onto a piece of paper there so I can really lift this up so it's a nice thin layer. I don't want too much because the gesso is white you're going to get a lovely pastel look to this. Now I'm going to use a stencil just to add a little bit of kind of pattern to my gel print. Just pressing that down. There we go. So let's get spraying so i'm going to do a little bit this one is salvage patina let's do a bit of uncharted mariner let's stick with the same colors throughout this video gorgeous okay so there's quite a lot of ink on there i'm going to lift up first of all now with this i would always do more than one print look straight away you can see that coming through isn't that gorgeous so just give that a light brush over so I've got one print then I'm going to go in again I'm going to press a little bit harder this time this is going to get more of the ink from in between that stencil so we haven't got any pooling we haven't got that kind of bubbling and uh, blotchiness that you'd expect to get from an ink uh, or kind of watery ink on the gel plate there's another one let's just lift that up at the end there and then lastly Let's lift our stencil up and don't forget to lift off the excess very often I find this print is kind of my favorite of all of them so gently place that on I don't want to be moving the paper around you can see the little dots where the inks a little bit thicker give this one a really good rub you're lifting up the last of that gesso and all the ink color there we go gorgeous three really pretty prints from my gel plate straight away using my ink sprays. Now lastly I want to show you how to update your wardrobe using spray stains. To do this let's explain the difference between the Distress Spray Stain and the Distress Oxide Sprays. Now these are made up differently. The oxides have a pigment in them and if you look at the bottom of the bottle you'll see that cloudy kind of powder sitting in the bottom, that's the colour there. And that will all get shaken up and that will mix in with the ink. So this is an ink and pigment fusion. That's what oxides are. The spray stains are purely an ink. If you look at the bottom, there's nothing there. There's no powder, there's nothing to mix up. Now these are purely an ink. Now an ink will soak into a porous surface. Okay, so these will all soak in and they'll stay there. They'll stain, look at my fingers, they'll stain. But the oxides, the ink part will soak in, but the oxide pigment will sit on top of your fabric or your material, your paper, your cardstock, whatever it may be. So, 
for the next technique I'm about to show you, which will blow you away, I absolutely love this one. Uh, you're not going to be able to use oxide sprays because eventually those pigments, they will just wash off. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be changing the colour of this shoe. So this is a fabric, this is a porous surface. Yes, we can do the same sort of technique on paper and cardstock, but fabric is brilliant because the inks are a dye. They're a dye ink. They dye fabric. So all I did for this is I masked off the areas of my shoe that I didn't want coloured. I popped it into a cardboard box so that I knew I wasn't going to get any ink spray anywhere I didn't want it. Gave it a quick spray. I used a darker colour for the reverse or the back of the shoe. A lighter colour for the front. I had no issues blending because it just blends beautifully on its own. And then I left it to dry. Once it was dry, I simply took all of the tape off and here is the finished shoe. How cool is that? How about updating a handbag, a shoe, a baseball cap that you've got in your closet or in your wardrobe that is a little bit, you know, a little bit old, a little bit aged now and you want to give it a fresh new look. You can use your spray stains for this as well. This just means things like aprons, if you have your craft aprons, anything around your craft room that's fabric, Go ahead, let's get spraying on it. So I hope you've enjoyed these techniques. Please do drop me a subscribe if you have and a thumbs up and I'll see you again very, very soon.